right here is corporate. That's not his real name, of course, but people call him that because, well, look at him. Corp's been slanging software as a service for nearly a decade now. He just turned 30. He's got his life all figured out. And right now, he's about to close a deal to hit his sales quota. Not to mention, he has a huge penis. Just an absolute hammer. Doug, I thought we had alignment here. What? No, I'm not gonna throw myself off the building. Because it's only two stories, I'll live. Fuck! Okay, like most salespeople, I might have lied a little bit. Like any salesperson who's been in the game long enough, Corp's going through a slump. Not long ago, he was top rep of a Fortune 100 company. But we'll get more into that later. Rough night, Caprate? Like corporate, Travis graduated college with zero hard skills. But being a Gen Zer with access to Twitter and Joe Rogan's podcast, Travis has decided to become a social crusader when convenient. Huh. It's pretty good stuff. Can you tell me a little bit about the farm this was harvested from? The fuck you say? I'm just asking if this cocaine's fair trade. Not a rough night, Travis. Just getting a little coffee. You know, I'm just saying it because you got bags under your eyes and your skin's a little leathery. Quite the empath today, Travis. Thank you for your concern. You do know that coffee's gonna make it worse, right? It's gonna dry out your skin and you're gonna get the runs. Big old diarrhea running down your leg. It's a tough spell. It's even tougher on your booty hole. Right, Raj? If salespeople are the brawn, then sales engineers, or SEs, are the brains. In traditional tech sales, the technology being sold is often far too advanced for salespeople's tiny, dumb brains. That's where SEs come in. Wow, thank you for that riveting and fascinating journalistic report, Travis. Dead ass. You know, I don't even touch this stuff. I recently got into this mushroom tea. I learned about on the Rogan pod, super clean energy. You take Adderall every day, prescribed by a doctor. Ooh. This has gotta be Julian. Yep, it's my life coach, give me five. Good morning, Sensei. Oh my God. Oh my God, are you stupid? Excuse me? Me? Why am I so dumb? How dumb of me? Good morning, Katie. Katie's been the number one sales rep at Suckle for the last two years. Are you? Good. Yeah, I am splendid, uh, tremendous even. Great, because you look like 2018 Pete Davidson. And when she wakes up in the morning, she chooses violence. Well, I just did a little water splash earlier. Oh, in lieu of a shower? Because you smell like shit too. So, last Friday, I had our monthly call with uh, leadership. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this, people. This is a big quarter for us, okay? Said every sales manager, every quarter, ever. Fister likes to say he's stern, but fair. He'll do whatever it takes to help his team hit quota. Whether that's buying a giant gong to ring upon closed deals, or dressing up like his favorite pirate, Captain Jack Sparrow. Big quarter. Really big. Wow, last quarter was huge, so this seems totally different. <laughs> it is, Katie, okay? We've only got two weeks left in this quarter, and we are still pacing behind the East team. Almost sounds like we should be looking for new jobs. <laughs> You've only been here three weeks, so no, okay? It's just, we've just got a lot riding on this, all right? Oh, damn, are we trying to IPO soon? Because uh, it wouldn't be my first one. Travis was a founder CEO in college. The company peaked at one employee before he sold it to his mother. No, a company was founded two years ago. D Look, we're not doing great. We're not doing terrible. This is just a really big quarter for us, okay? Now, I want all of you, put your hands together, help me to welcome our newest SDR, huh? Michaela. Hey, everyone. 
you don't have to clap, but you can just also call me Mickey. Um, I'm really happy to be here. Mickey hasn't made a cold call yet, and it shows. Exhibit A being that she still has a glimmer of hope in her eyes. Mickey is the only SDR we have in the office, so she's gonna be supporting the three of you. Uh, not to sound stupid here, which I'm obviously not because they don't let stupid people into Trinity. They do. But why did we only hire one SDR? Scared to make cold calls for ourselves, Travis? No, absolutely not. But when I was hired three weeks ago, I was told that every AE at Suckle gets their own personal SDR, so. We did tell you that, but they quit right before you two started. Uh-oh. Uh it's okay. What, why? Don't even worry. Oh, there's a bunch of factors for that. Like many startups in the tech world, Suckle has a rotating door of SDRs, thanks in large part to the fact that they're just glorified telemarketers whose sole purpose is to set up meetings for their AEs. No one and everyone is qualified to be an SDR. We good here, boss man, because this whole meeting could have been a deleted email. Hang on, no one's leaving until we congratulate my girl Katie, yeah! Because you know what she did? She got top sales last quarter. Go ahead, Katie. Wow. Yes, clap Thank it up, you. people. Thank you, Fistar. Almost a full quarter late, but it's still important. <laughs> good things come in small packages. <laughs> Not much of a competition with only one player. Excuse me, this includes the performance of the East team. Just be thankful your boy's ramping. I'm sure when you look in the mirror every morning, chasing your Lexapro with a big puff of jewel smoke, you think, I look like a hot Nick Kroll. In truth, you're just a poor man's Chris Kattan. Okay, these celebrity references are getting a little out of hand. Maybe you don't talk about my award when you haven't made a single sale. Chris Kattan? Dude, really? Mm -hmm. At the Roxbury. What is love? Oh, oh yeah, that one, the not funny movie about toxic masculinity. <laughs> you dumb. And speaking of keeping each other honest, T-Pain, Kids Incorporated, hmm? I'm looking forward to congratulating each of you on your first sales this week, yes? Hmm? Happening? Thumbs up? Yeah? Hands in? Yeah. Okay. Fist it. Fist it. Fist it. You fit. Yes. Everybody just keep your composure because this, this, this is a normal, this I mean, normal email. <laughs> yeah. An email regarding your CEO getting arrested is totally normal? Actually, one in 37 scandal written startups reach unicorn status, so we are completely on track. Like, like, like a train. We're fine. We're on track, baby. Interesting and harsh statistics. Where'd you make that? We are so